All right, guys, I figured you'd, uh, if you're anything like me, you didn't see these tires side by side at all. So here's a 32 inch carnivore on the left and a 32 inch terabyte on the right. Both mounted on rims. Obviously the terabyte is not mounted on the general, so there's some height variation. I don't know as far as height wise, I think they're probably pretty close. It looks like a little more, I'm more or less showing the difference in the tread depth. Maybe not even tread depth, but the spacing in the treads, what they look like. The carnivore's a little more aggressive, a little bit less rounded, not a whole lot. It definitely looks wider, for sure. I wanna say the tread depth is three quarters of an inch, 0.75. I'd have to look that up to verify, but I'm pretty sure those two are about the same when they're new. These carnivores probably have, I don't know, 2,000 plus miles on them. And I mean, they're wearing good for as much as they've been on hard surfaces and spinning and everything else, especially with the turbo attached to this thing. Now it um, will actually spin on the blacktop. So here's some 32 inch out and back max on a 14 inch vision wheel. Pretty monster lugs. Only ever used them once. Here is a 32 inch BF Goodrich KM3 next to the 32 inch terabyte. So you can kind of see terabytes just slightly deeper maybe. I'm not actually sure what the what the BF Goodrich tread depth is. I'd have to look that up. But as far as looks, Terabyte's a little more aggressive. Um, maybe just slightly more rounded in the tread pattern. Not a whole lot. Size-wise, they look like they're pretty similar. Again, the Terabytes are not mounted. They have this cool X pattern on the side. I think these are both good choices as far as a hard pack tire. So, I'll roll one of these over also by the stock 30 inch Pro Armors. So you can take a look at that. <clears throat> so that's the stock 30 inch Pro Armor on the right on my 22 XP4. Terabyte on the left. These actually have a taller or a deeper tread from what I can tell than what the other two do. It's actually a semi-aggressive looking stock tire. You know, the fronts are different, but I want to compare the rears since the fronts are kind of a player's only thing. Good looking tires, all of them, actually. Terabytes have been really good on the trails. Um, really good hard pack. The thing I didn't like is they toss chunks of gravel. Like if you're on a loose gravel road, they'll throw a lot of gravel up, but my truck tires do the same thing. They're just the right, just the right distance apart in the tread that, you know, the rocks get stuck in here and it tosses them. Not a big deal if you're not going Mach 90, but we have a railroad grade that we ride, a railroad bed. So when you're riding and you're going 60, 70 miles an hour, they'll throw a rock a long ways behind you. Make the riders behind you not so very happy. So just a quick little, like I said, if anyone's looking for the difference between a carnivore and a terabyte or a BFG, KM3, or even if you're looking at a stock set of XP rims and wheels, tires for maybe a regular general, non XP. A lot of people use these in the rocks. I guess they're the Pro Armor crawlers are pretty amazing in the rocks. You don't do a whole whole lot of rocks around here. I plan to get into more of it. Um, plan on doing some trips to where there's a lot more rocky trails than what we normally run. 
So I'll probably keep another set of tires. Um, I have some Tusk Megabytes, 34, 10, 15s coming for this. So that ought to make it kind of interesting. So we'll see how that all shakes down, how much I like those. But I think, I think the Megabytes are going to be a good differential, I guess. Carnivores didn't come in a 34. I would even went to a 35 probably, but they didn't come in it. So what I decided to do was pick a tire that was most comparable to the Carnivore. I really like the Carnivores myself. Like I said, I like the Terabytes too. I just like the bigger, wider tread spacing on the Carnivores. Okay guys, here's a Carnivore, 32, 10, 15 Carnivore up against a 32, 10, 15, be of Goodrich KM3. Obviously not mounted either, but pretty much the same height. Thought everybody give give everybody a quick look at the difference. Alright guys, so this is the newest addition to the uh, tire family here at GH Motorsports. So, this is a 34 inch, 34, 10, 15, toss terabyte on the left, 32, 10, 15, the carnivore is off the general on the right. Um, Beat locks, but I want to show the difference of the tire mostly here. It's got a nice deep tread. So he's got 2,500 plus miles on them. Not that they're bald by any means, but I wanted to try them on. I'm putting these on the four seater, but I wanted to just try them for kicks on the two seat. So I'll give you a little preview of that here. All right, guys, so here's the stock four-seater, stock 30, stock suspension. Here's the 32 out and backs, stock suspension. Here's the 32-inch carnivores, all stock suspension. Here's the 34-inch megabytes, stock suspension. Here's the two-seater. Today it was brand new on the stock suspension in the 30s. Here's the two-seater on the 32-inch carnivores, all stock suspension. Here's the 32-inch terabytes with the 304 off-road tender springs. Here's the carnivores with the 304 off-road tender springs. Here's the 32-inch out and backs with the tender springs. Here's the 34-inch megabytes with just tender springs. And here's the BFG 32s on the four seat 